Hi guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back. I'm Lauren and today I'm going to be doing a how I edit and take my Instagram photos video. Here is my Instagram so you can check it out and see if it's something you actually want to learn. And here's a little example of my feed, see if that's something you like the look of. I did put out a little Q&A on my Instagram so I'm just going to do a quick fire answer of those questions before we get into the editing. Taking a picture on a gloomy day, I'm not sure if this is a question about the editing or the taking but lighting is key, always make sure you've got lots of natural light and that the lighting is on you and not behind you and with regards to editing, um, warmth is your friend and light is your friend and also there's an app called afterlight that has little sun flare filters so you can play around with them to make a little sun flare coming into your picture does your editing change yes my editing changes all the time i'm constantly trying to evolve um but i think the main thing is i'm trying to edit less so yeah, as time goes on, I always feel like I'm editing too much, so it kind of gets less and less all the time. Um, and it definitely changes every time I go away because the whole scenery changes. Like if I go somewhere hot and exotic with lots of blue skies, um, my current editing techniques might not work for that. How do you change your phone and phone case so much? I'm not sure what this question means. I think maybe people think I'm editing my phone colour and phone case in post-production, but I'm not. I have lots of phone cases. I like them to go with my outfits. Um, a brand that I'd really recommend is a brand called Hold It, which are really nice quality ones, and Otterbox. Um, but other than that, you can just type in silicone pastel case on Amazon and get a cheapo one. What goes into planning your feed? I plan my feed on an app called Unum. I'm going to show you it in the editing, but I'll just show you quickly what it looks like here as well. So this is the app that I use. It is called Unum, and it's just where I keep all of the pictures that I want to post, and then I can move them around and see where I think they'll look best, but I'll show you that in the video later. How do you plan and colour coordinate your feed? Um, I try and edit bunches of photos at a time so I can put them in to my planning app all at once. Um, not because I necessarily am going to post them, but I like it to look a bit like a mood board so I can see where I'm going with it and what I might want to shoot next. Um, just so I can get like the vibe and the feel of it. Like I like to think of each kind of grid as a mood board or magazine type thing. How do you come up with original outfit ideas and shoot ideas? Um, I think you, obviously I get a lot of new stuff to shoot all the time, so they're my main inspiration, but I like to accessorize things differently. I don't think you need to have original new ideas. You just, sometimes the simplest, the cleanest pictures do the best. Some of my favorites are things like this, um, I love shooting just a white t-shirt and jeans and just getting creative with the shooting rather than the outfit. Um, yeah, accessorise, just literally have fun with it and get creative. How do you take pictures at home well? Um, I use mirrors, mirrors are your friend. I got all my mirrors that I use from charity shops for under £10. And my main advice would just be do what you've got to do, move furniture, you'll see in the editing that a lot of my pictures I take by just balancing a mirror in a drawer. Um, so you'll see what I mean when you see my pictures unedited and you see the background around them. But yeah, I move things to where I need them. Do you shoot on your phone? Yes, I do. I have an iPhone 11. I don't think you need one. I had an A plus up until a few months ago and I love that just as much, if not more. One thing I would say though is that I probably would never venture away from my phone personally. What equipment do you use to shoot your pictures? As I said before, the mirrors, um, and literally adjust my phone, maybe some shoe boxes to balance them up against. Um, I am shooting currently on a Canon G7X for my YouTube, and that's just standing on two shoe boxes and a Dolce & Gabbana underwear box that was the perfect height. Don't have any ring lights or anything like that. Um, lighting is something that I'm not really a fan of. I just prefer natural light and there is a window just there. So now I'm going to do a little split screen and show you how I edit my photos. So as you can see from my home screen I do not have like a editing folder um, because I have colour coordinated my folders instead. So obviously we have Instagram in here. InShot are useful editing like Instagram videos, really good app, that's for another day. 
um, in here, Facetune, VSEO Cam, um, in here and nothing. Um, Snapseed is good, Huji is fun. So these are some pictures that I literally took this morning um, of some House of CB bits and I just thought I haven't edited them yet so I will show you which ones I like. Look at my eyeball and not that one and then edit them but I just want to show you look you can see here that I have just balanced a mirror in a chest of drawers needs must guys do whatever you've got to do to get the shot um so yeah I quite like that one add that to the list and I've already favorited some others so I will just do that now sorry I can't do this on flight mode let's try it get on flight mode I can't um because the editing some of the apps need to be on the internet so it's actually really annoying so we're going to favorites and just add those in um, and then we will edit it so the first thing I'm going to do is going to light and I like to brighten them up a little bit with that. I like it to be brighter but I don't like the whites to be like Psh! So what I do is I lighten it up um, but I take the highlights down and I take the whites down because I want to still have a bit of depth like in the background. Um, and then I go into colour and I will just warm it up like a tiny bit. Um, it looks really yellow but I'm going to edit that out so I think we'll just warm it up a tiny bit I like to have it more green than pink because I think it looks more like it's taken on an iPhone don't ask me why but I just find that compared to my camera pics cameras are more pink iPhone's more green so I want to keep that phone look um, that's all I would do there then I go into colour mix and you can edit each um, colour of the picture separately so red's fine orange is how you give yourself a tan so you go to luminance and take it down or up and um, so i normally just take it down a little bit but i look quite tanned in this pic anyway um so i'll just take it down a tiny bit sometimes if i want to take it down more and then lower the saturation if i'm either orange or up the saturation if i'm not orange enough but i don't actually think this needs that much and you can change like the tone of the tan here but I don't think that needs anything doing um the picture looks a little yellow so I'm going to take the yellows down um to there and like this one didn't really need any editing I'm not going to lie so that's before and after it's mainly the brightness that we're playing with here um effects nada detail Sometimes I might sharpen it a bit, but I'm not really that girl that's like into the sharpening. So we'll just save that. I'm going to do another one too while we're in here so that then I can do them all in the next step together. I just took the filter off one, do it with you. Oh, that was a horrible picture. That one, there's a fil there's one of these here. This one has got no filter on, so we're aiming to get it to look like this. Um, as you can see, for me, the key is to have a really great picture to start with. Um, so as you can see here, we've got some nice light there. Um, I made sure my hair looked nice. I took loads to get the hair right. As you can see here, like there's a lot that aren't as good. Um, and these are only the ones that made it into light bloom. That was probably 100 before that. But, um, yeah, it doesn't, you know, there's nothing that I would be like, oh, I want to tuck that in or cut that out or edit that. My feet look a bit manky, but that's about it. Um, and then maybe I'd want to take that out, actually. But it doesn't bother me that much enough to, like, really edit the picture. But I might show you how to do that just for argument's sake. So then we just, again, brighten up. Actually, with this picture, I feel like it's going to look better, a bit moody. So I'm going to actually take the light down in that one. Um, highlights down, whites down a bit. Colour, warm it up a little bit. 
I'm actually going to desaturate this. I think the top looks really bright. Just taking that down a little bit. And then we're going to get my tan on again. I don't know if my tan needs it here either. Yeah, I think it looks a bit nicer, like, more on the bright side. Um, and then the yellow, do I need to take the yellow down just a tiny bit? Um, what's the difference here? I think it's maybe a bit warmer. And a bit darker, maybe. So, I think that's done. Um, now I'm going to show you them what I'm going to do next. Oh, first of all, once you've got your edit in Lightroom, so with this one that we've done, what I would do here is open up three dots, copy settings, paste settings. And then you can just play around with things like that one I think needs to be a bit darker. Um, copy settings. Paste settings, yep, I like that one. Paste settings, I like that one. Paste settings, I like that one. Okay, and then what I will do is open my app, which I love, which is VSCO. Um, actually, I'm gonna show you something first. Let's open up and get rid of that bit of the cover in that picture there. Look at all your questions that I was screenshotting. Um, where is it? Why aren't I saving to my camera? Recent, that's what we want. So with that one, then we can go to tools and healing. I haven't just done it, have I? Just go into the bit that we want to heal and just like rub over it and it should just go away. There we go. Oh, no, back, back. Yeah, that will do. Can't see that anymore. Might as well clean it up if there's anything else. There isn't really anything else. Save a copy. Then in this video, we're going to add that new one. And let's add a couple of these. Which one's my favourite? I think that one's my favourite. Um, and then the filter that I love to use in VSEO is M5. As you can see, not like that. Um, I literally take it down to nothing. Just like there. I don't know why, like you can't even tell it's on there, but it's just like my security blanket. I just put it on there. Um, and then I go to grain and add grain. And I think the grain really makes the picture. Um, it just adds that vintage vibe. And that one is done. So let's do this one. M5. Quite like it in that warm there, but it won't go with my feed. So do that one to about there. Add the grain. Love that. Done. Let's try this one. Yeah. Done. So, um,. Basically what I wanted to show you now is a few other filters that I like in VSEO um, in case you want to get a different vibe. I know a few that are really good for other things. Um, so M4 is like the perfect vintage Polaroid. Look at that. It looks so nice. Uh, take the grain up even more. I just really love that look. Um, or oh, let's try... C1 is another good one to use. That looks again really vintage if you want the colours to pop, really high contrast. Love that one too. So, those are my favourite VSCO filters. Um, I thought I would also show you how to do a chest fee because that is something I do quite a lot. So I'll see if I can find something to edit in that sense. So let's just take all the 
adjustments off of this and do that one. So first of all light, I want it to be really shadowy so I'm going to take that down. Colour, I want it to be warm. Don't want all that yellow in there. Definitely want the tan to really pop. Um, and I think that's Okay, how did it look on that? Yeah, I think that's fine. Insufficient storage, what are the chances? I'll screenshot it. <laughs> and then go on to VSEO. And we will just add the M5, take that down. Add a lot of grain. And we're done. So yeah. In a nutshell, that's how I edit my pictures, really simple. The key for me is to just really try and take a picture that's great in the first place. Like, it's a lot easier to fake tan for the week than it is to try and give yourself a tan. <laughs> um, because a lot of the time, if your pictures, if your pants look a bit pink or like bright white, like there isn't, they're not picking up any orange to make more orange. Like you, I don't know how you would do that. Um, I also wanted to show you a picture that is a bit more highly edited like this is how I edited before I started going for a more natural look so I thought it was only appropriate to show you that as well um, so I'm gonna go back in time to Paris because you guys always seem to like my pictures in Paris um so I've got a before and after here to show you so this is a before and this is the after for a really vintage feel and I'm just going to show you the settings highlights right down whites right down shadows up a little contrast um here we have taken the reds right down because look it obviously really made the pink pop Orange is right down, orange saturation down, um, yellow is right down, green is right down, <laughs> not sure why. So they're all the colour settings, um, effect, I think I did grain on here, yeah I added the grain on this app rather than on the VSEO, I don't think I even used VSEO when I was in Paris. And the sharpening right up. Um, I would like to add that this picture was also taken on a camera. This was before I switched to my phone. So yeah, that's that. Okay, so now we are going to go to my editing app, which is a num. I already showed you that when I was talking about um, the how far ahead I plan my feed. But I have just had another question come in to my phone about... Um, how I plan it with like the colours and stuff. Actually I've, I had this picture that I wanted to put in there tonight but I think that maybe now if I got space to shuffle that around. Oh it's already in here so I can delete it. Um, maybe one of those pictures I just took might look better. So we'll just have a look at that. Um, I think I really like that one and I think it looks really good there so I might save that top picture that I had for another day so now I've moved the top out I'll play around with that and see if that would look good there instead maybe uh, no don't like that so yeah I think I just like try and with the colour just I've had this green vibe going on and I'm trying to keep it but also phase it out so I'm trying to like pick out the pinks um, because this is the direction that I want to take it in next. I don't like how this looks. I like how it looks up to there but that's just happened by accident. That's not planned. That's just where the pictures have fallen but I quite like it. I like that there. I think that would look good after that. Um, I don't like that next to be honest, maybe that glass of wine, but then I don't like those three filler picks over each other. So maybe the shower pick, but I'm not sure if the shower pick will look nice there. I mean, now I'm seeing them on a different row. I don't like those two together. 
So maybe swap that, maybe the glass of wine there now. I quite like that. Try and move it down again. Every time you move it down, everything changes. So then you're like, ah, oh, I quite like this bikini. No, I quite like actually two of the same outfits there. Um, but yeah, it's just about, that's got a bit of blue in it. So I might pull like one of these down. I'm trying to phase into this like greeny blue vibe up here. Um, that orangey stuff. Maybe I can use that orange peel. I'm just trying to like head in that direction. So maybe after that we'll have that ocean. They might be too close together though. I quite like them next to each other. So we might do that now. Um, so yeah, I think that looks okay. I think we need a bit more of a filler. I don't know, something more spacious in there maybe. It's a lot going on. Anyway, I haven't got a lot of filler pictures in here at the minute. So this is, so yeah, I mean, that's how I plan it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, I feel like this has been the most stressful video I've ever had to film. Um, three times. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful. Um, sorry if you're expecting more editing, but I've really tried to kind of narrow it down. I hope this edit works on your pictures. If it doesn't, slide into my DMs on Instagram and I'll try and help you edit your picture. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think and let me know if you have found a new style of editing from this. Bye.